गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ मैथ एफ टू फोर टू ऑपरेशन रिसर्च प्रेजेंटली वी आर स्टडिंग डायनेमिक प्रोग्रामिंग ऑडियोविटी इज ओके यस सर सो लास्ट टाइम आई हैव गिवन यू जस्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डायनेमिक प्रोग्रामिंग so you have seen first we have to break or decompose the given problem into the sub problem depending over right and number of sub problems depend over the number of variables and the solution procedure depends on what type of the problem we are dealing so for each problem uh, we have the different methodology to solve but common thing is that we decompose the main problem a single problem into the n sub problems where uh, where we have the n variables and all the sub problems are linked by the common constraints or common equation so whatever the dynamic programming uh, or dynamic programming problem uh, always we have to check that these three things right first we have to define what are the stages then we have to for each stage we have to define the alternatives right then what is the state what is the state in each stage so we have to define the three things state alternatives and stage so to understand this let us take one example of knapsack fly away cargo loading model commonly call it as a knapsack problem sometimes we call it as a fly away problem or cargo loading problem so what is the knapsack problem so in the knapsack problem generally we have to we have to organize a backpack right where uh, means in general situation soldier or mounted hiker or general general hiker uh, has to decide the uh, uh, the quantity of the valuable item to carry in a backpack means generally which item is more useful that quantity in the backpack he has to keep more if uh, that uh, if some uh, if some uh, item of less useful then he pack that item in less quantity that is the general optimal Uh, opt, uh, optimal optimal uh, number uh, that general, generally he has to optimize means how many items right how many uh, quantity of different items he must pack he must pack in his backpack so problem paraphrase a general resource allocation means it is nothing if you take if you visualize this so it is nothing it is the resource allocation model backpack problem knapsack problem is nothing it is the resource allocation model in which single limited resource is assigned to a number of alternatives means we have the resource a bag in that we have to we have to take away number of items for example food medicine right cloth Uh, tent like this so uh, number of alternatives limited funds for example uh, we have the limited funds we want to distribute that fund for the mutual fund for the fd for the rd for the saving for the current so we have to distribute so we have the uh, means it is nothing if you can visualize this is a knapsack problem or fly away problem or cargo loading problem is nothing it is the resource allocation model so what is the common objective in all common objective is in all is the to maximize the total revenue so it can be the maximization problem it can be the minimization problem also so before presenting dp model we remark that knapsack problem is nothing Uh, it is also known as the flyaway or the cargo loading problem means in the flyaway flyaway means in the plane 
in the plane you have to decide how many items of particular type we should carry so because there is a limitation limitation in volume limitation in the cargo loading so uh, or weight uh, weight limitation in the knapsack right so in this case um, uh, you can coined you can coined uh, th these problem are nothing it is a representation of all the programming uh, fine uh, fine uh, finance distribution right uh, resource allocation you can visualize Please, like uh, yes their voice is breaking it's not clear So please check now also, right? If you feel any problem, then please let me know. So I was talking how to represent the knapsack problem or uh, dynamic uh, dynamic problem. So here we have to develop the recursive equation, right? Uh, uh, recursive equation where we have the n item. We we want to carry n item in backpack or we want to load. N items in the fly away or n items in the cargo loading. Always we have the limitation of the total weight, total size, total volume. So let's say capital W is the maximum limit of the knapsack. Let MI denote number of units of item I. So you let us assume there are the three items right which you want to carry so for the first item how many alternatives we have whether we have the one item two item zero item four items like that so mi is the number of units of item i in the knapsack and define the ri ri and wi as a revenue and weight revenue means utility usefulness usefulness of the ith item and wi is the unit weight of the ith item so ri uh, and wi as a revenue and weight of weight per unit of item i so general problem will be this means from the first item from the first item you you are getting the revenue r1 and you are taking m1 item of the first type m1 item of first type then total revenue total usefulness will become the r1 m1 plus uh, revenue from the second or usefulness for the second item is the r2 and if you are carrying the m2 items of type 2 then total revenue will be the r2 m2 
similarly for the nth item if the revenue is rn and you are carrying mn items right mn items of nth type so total revenue will become the rn into mn and their addition their addition will give you total revenue and which you want to maximize right you want to maximize the total revenue total usefulness of all items total usefulness of all items now audio video, video is okay yes, so and we know that maximum limit of any knapsack is w means you cannot take the weight, total weight more than the capital w so that is the maximum limit of the knapsack problem right then what is the w1 w1 is the unit weight of type 1 if you are carrying m1 item so total weight due to the item 1 will become w1 into m1 similarly w2 is the unit weight of item 2 and you are carrying total m2 items of type 2 so total weight due to the item 2 will become w2 m2 similarly w and mn will represent will uh, will represent the total weight of item n i of item n where w n is the unit weight of item n and m n is the number of uh, number of uh, number of units of type n so total weight total weight will be the their sum w1 uh, w1 m1 plus w2 m2 plus w n m m n and that cannot be more than the capital w and if we are talking about the item so naturally these items are non negative these items number of items will be non negative and uh, you cannot dis uh, you cannot uh, discretize means factorize so we have to take the integer right if you can factorize then you can take continuous also if uh, sometimes we have the liquid item then you can take the fraction value also so in that case you need not to take integer but here we are taking the integer first so here the m1 m2 mn can be the quantity it can be the continuous it can be the discrete or integer so if you forget if you forget uh, we are doing the knapsack problem or we are doing the fly away problem or we are doing the cargo loading problem just you visualize so here what we have maximize of z is equal to r1 m1 plus r2 m2 plus rn and uh, mn subject to w1 m1 plus w2 m2 plus wn mn less than equal to w m1 m2 mn greater than equal to 0 and integer so which type of the problem already you know the nature of this problem what is this linear program yes it is the linear programming right this is the linear program so means you can solve any linear program from the dynamic programming also linear program or explicitly you can say it is the integer linear program right it is the integer linear program so what i have told you i have told you we have to recognize the three things for any dynamic programming what are those first stage then alternative then the state so how uh, for any linear program we can define the stage stage represent number of the variable here we have the n variable so we can say total we have the n stages total we have the n stages uh, n stages and in stage 1 we solve for the variable 1 right for the stage 2 we will solve for the variable 2 and in stage n we will solve for the variable n so here we have the means in the stage i we solve for the item i right in the stage i whatever the number of the variable whatever the number of items that much stage we have to consider so in this problem we have total n stages and particular ith stage we dedicated for we dedicate for the item i now what are the alternatives 
so alternative is what means if total weight assume that total weight available is the 50 kg total weight uh, and unit weight unit weight of w uh, w1 is the 5 kg so how many items you can accommodate means it will be the greatest integer of this 50 upon 5 it means that is the 10 so you can accommodate you can accommodate either the zero item one item two item three item or maximum 10 items right you cannot accommodate more, uh, more than the 10 items if unit weight if unit weight of item 1 is 5 kg and total maximum weight will be, is the 50 kg so we have the choice we have the choice of 10 i 10 units right you can you can choose any one but uh, maximum you can take away 10 items and minimum because uh, because we have the con condition of the non negativity so minimum you can take zero item so this this represent the alternatives so we have the choice of this much alternatives so here the mi can take the value either 0 1 2 or 10 what is the 10 greatest integer of w upon w1 <laughs> so here we have uh, recognize we have defined what is the alternative now in the last we have to define the state so Excuse state me, is the uh, yes sir in the previous part i had a doubt so at each stage we have to update uh, capital w right uh, yes capital w is the same fix uh, that you have not to update you have to update the state state will whatever your uh, uh, whatever the concept presently you have uh, in your mind that is nothing that is the state whatever the third point w you have to fix okay sir. means if we have the second item right the, uh, item that weight is the 5 so in that case m2 will be the 0 1 2 3 4 five in that case uh, uh, alternatives uh, for the second item will be the maximum five items now whatever you want to convey presently that is nothing that is the state state represent what is the remaining weight for the stage i stage i plus 1 stage i plus 2 and stage n stage n means state i represent the remaining weight for the ith for the i plus 1th for the i plus 2th or nth stage that is the state so the state at the stage i represent the xi the total weight assigned to the stage i stage i plus 1 and the n this definition reflects that the weight constraint is only the restriction that link all the states together means this weight restriction what is the x1 what what the x1 x1 represent how many weights you are how many weights you are assigning in stage 1 in stage 2 in stage n what the x2 represent how many weights you are assigning in stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 stage n stage 3 will represent how many weights you are assigning in stage 3 stage 4 stage 5 and stage n similarly xn will be the how many weights you will assign in the stage n so naturally x1 is always w x1 is always w what is the x2 right x2 is what x2 is what anyone w minus w1 m1 w1 m1 m1 correct right it will be the w1 m1 similarly x3 will be the w minus uh, w1 m1 minus w2 m2 right so uh, similarly we have to proceed we have to update the state so that is the state variable so that um, that link that link the all stages so in this case uh, always we represent 
we represent the function here right so fi fi means the function for each stage function for ith stage right fi represent the function for ith stage when state variable xi uh, xi is known to you so fi xi is represent the maximum return for stage i stage i plus 1 and stage n given that given state xi xi means remaining weight for the stage i stage i plus 1 stage i uh, stage n so fi xi uh, represent the maximum return the simplest way to determine the recursive equation in the two step procedure so first we define the first we define the what is the fi xi so fi xi means fi xi what is the fi xi so here fi xi is what maximum return maximum return in stage i i plus 1 and in stage n so it is what it is the return in the ith stage return in the i stage plus return in return in i plus 1th stage return in the i plus 1th stage so uh, continuously you are maximizing continuously you are maximizing so uh, uh, here we have the uh, um, return for the current stage for the ith stage so it is the return from the current stage plus maximum return from the i plus 1th stage uh, i plus 2th stage and nth stage but uh, but here fi is nothing it is a function of the xi right function of xi and fi plus 1 is a function of the xi plus 1 so can we write this xi plus 1 in terms of the xi so what is the xi plus 1 can you tell what is the xi plus 1 what is the xi plus 1 it is the weight weight remaining for weight remaining for i plus 1 i plus 2 or n stage stages what is the xi xi represent weight remaining for ith i plus 1 i plus 2 or nth stage so which one is greater which one is greater xi xi is greater so xi minus xi plus 1 will represent weight allocated in the ith stage it represent the weight allocated in ith stage and how much weight you have allocated in the ith stage if uh, means or uh, ith stage means for the item i you, if the unit weight of the item i is wi so how many weight uh, how many weights you have allocated in the stage i W I M I, W I M I. It means X I plus one will become X I minus W I M I. W I M I. It means F I X I can be written as R I M I plus F I plus one of X I minus W I M I. so this is the function formula for the maximum return so here express the fi xi as a function of fi xi plus 1 right so here fi xi is equal to uh, no this is the maximum right maximum of ri mi plus fi plus 1 of xi plus 1 for the i is equal to 1 to n where mi is what mi is the alternatives it is equal to mi is what 
it is the alternative right it is the alternative mi is equal to 0 1 dash 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 greatest integer of w upon w1 a uh, wi w upon wi and all the xi all the xi are always less than because xi represent the remaining weight remaining weight for the stage i stage i plus 1 stage n so always it is less than w so and at the last at the last we have no item right we have only n item so uh, for the n plus i uh, n plus 1 one at item we have the revenue zero right because there is no n plus 1 at item just because it is a recursive equation we have to write what is the f of n plus 1 i n plus 1 so that will be the zero because the, n plus 1 at there is no n plus 1 at item so now if i am saying that fi is function of the xi so uh, uh, there must be the xi on the right hand side so uh, that uh, uh, that we can determine by the relation xi minus xi plus 1 is equal to wi uh, wi mi so xi plus 1 will become the xi minus wi mi so our so our uh, formula for the fi xi will updated as a maximum of mi 0 1 2 means all the alternatives the greatest integer of w upon wi ri mi plus uh, plus fi plus 1 of xi minus wi mi for the i is equal to 1 to n so that is the our maximization formula for each stage so in each stage we have to solve so let us have this problem this is from your book all right unsolved problem a 4 ton vessel can be loaded with one or more of three items we have the choice either you take one right means at least one item you have to take 2 3 4 whatever the uh, whatever the alternative accordingly you have to decide but at least one item you have to take so a 4 ton vessel can be loaded with one or more of the three items the following table gives unit weight wi in tons and unit revenue in thousand of dollar ri of item i how should the vessel we loaded to maximize the total return total revenue so if you are taking item i so item total uh, weight of the item i will be the 2 it means mi can be mi can be yes uh, total weight uh, total weight is the 4 so mi can be the what are the choice mi can be the 0 1 maximum 2 if maximum weight is, if the unit weight is a 3 so in the 4 ton vessel m2 can be the m2 can be the either the 0 or 1 two items you cannot take because unit weight is a 3 maximum weight is a 4 so m m2 can be the 0 and here m3 will be the it is a 1 so it is a 0 1 2 3 and 4 so m3 can be the 0 1 2 3 4 4 if the unit weight is the 1 clear this part and here we have revenue from the item 1 31000 $1, from the item 2 47000 and from the item 3 14000 it means what is the problem problem is maximize z is equal to maximize z is equal to 31 m1 plus 47 m2 plus 14 m3 subject to 2 m1 total weight of the item 1 due to the item 1 3 m2 total weight from the item 2 and m3 that cannot be more than the 4 ton 
and here m1 m2 m3 are greater than equal to 0 and they are the integer because they are the item so we have to consider the integer so it is nothing it is the linear programming problem or integer linear programming problem because the unit weight wi and maximum weight w are integer so state right in state xi assume the integer value only because we we are considering that if uh, means unit weight unit weight of any item is uh, integer like uh, 2 3 1 and total weight is also the integer 4 so as you allocate so remaining weight will also be the integer right for example in the stage 1 uh, you have allocated that uh, one item of item 1 so it means x2 will be the two turns because uh, uh, two uh, two item right uh, one uh, one item of two ton you have allocated means you have used that weight of two ton out of the four tons so stage two will be the two tons so in the two tons you cannot accommodate you cannot accommodate the three ton item so naturally m2 will be the zero so in the remaining weight of two tons now you can accommodate maximum two items of one ton right maximum item of type 3 of one ton so uh, that is the allocation so now we have to allocate the four ton in such a way that total we uh, means total revenue should be the maximum so always we solve in the backward form using the backward recursive right you can use uh, from the forward or you can solve from the forward also that is not restriction here uh, first i am demonstrating from the backward only so here in the stage 3 in the stage 3 what will be the function means we have to compute the f3x3 so what is the f3x3 it is the maximum of what is the alternatives m3 is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 right here we have seen m3 is equal to right m3 is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 so uh, uh, means when the all the four turns uh, are available when you are not allocating any item of type 1 or type 2 or item 1 item 2 so all the four turns will remain empty so you can you have you can allocate four four items four units of item 3 so m3 is equal to 0 1 uh, when uh, when it is a 0 when you have utilized all the four turn there is no remaining weight there is no remaining weight for the stage 3 so m3 can be the 0 1 2 3 4 plus to, uh, total revenue r1 r1 or no, r3 m3 plus f4 x4 and you know that f of n plus 1 of x plus uh, x of n plus 1 is always 0 right so if we have only the 14 m3 so 14 m3 so that we have to maximize so here we have to maximize the 14 m3 uh, now uh, what can be the remaining weight remaining weight can be the 0 1 2 3 4 here we write the state right here we write the state this is the correct way to write the dynamic programming table for the different stages and here we write the alternatives here we write the alternatives so if there is a zero remaining weight so naturally we have the choice of the zero items if one is the remaining weight then we have the choice of the Zero, um, we have the choice of 0 and 1 item. If remaining weight is the 2, if remaining weight is 2, then we have the choice of 0 item, 1 item, 2 items. Right? If remaining weight is the 3 turn, then we have the choice of the 0 item, 1 item, 2 items, and 3 items. When we have the choice, uh, when we have the remaining weight, 4 items, 
then we have the choice of zero item one item two item three items and four items so when we are carrying when we are allocating zero item so naturally uh, revenue will become the zero when we are carrying one item then total uh, total revenue you will get the 14 14 14 14 because it is the 14 m3 when you are when you are taking the two items then total revenue will become the 28 28 28 right when you are taking the three items then it will become the 42 42 when you are taking the um, uh, four items then the total revenue are getting the 56 it means for the stage 3 when it stays uh, for the stage 3 when the state variable value is zero so maximum revenue you can get the zero when state variable value is equal to 1 then maximum revenue you can get the 14 from here from here when state variable value is equal to 3 uh, or 2 then maximum revenue you can get the 28 right 28 from the m3 is equal to 2 right that is the optimal value of the m3 optimal value of the m3 that's why here we have written the m3 optimal now when the state variable is well, uh, then when the state variable x3 is equal to 3 then maximum revenue you can get the 42000 dollar so here we have the 42 for, uh, up, uh, when the m3 is equal to 3 and when the m uh, when the x3 is equal to 4 maximum revenue you can get the 56 when m3 is equal to 4 so in this way we have to write the table now we have to proceed because it is a recursive method so we have to proceed for the stage 2 so in the stage 2 in the stage 2 first we have to define what are the um, alternatives so alternatives uh, uh, because unit weight is what 3 tons maximum weight is 4 tons so greatest integer greatest integer of 4 upon 3 is equal to 1 so m2 can take either the 0 or 1 then we have to define the uh, then we have to define the return function so f2 x2 so what is the formula for the f2 x2 f2 x2 is the maximum of m2 choices of r2 m2 plus f3 x3 Re maximum return from the third stage maximum return from the third stage and we know that x3 is what x2 is the what x2 is remaining weight for the stage 2 and stage 3 x3 is what remaining weight for the stage 3 so it means it means their difference their difference is what it is the total weight allocated total weight allocated in stage 2 so it means it means x3 can be written as x2 minus w uh, w2 m2 so that we have written here so it means our objective function for the stage 2 will become f2 x2 is equal to maximum of m2 can take either the 0 or 1 r2 m2 r2 is what 47 into m2 and plus maximum return from the stage 3 so f3 of x3 and x3 is what x2 minus x2 minus w2 w2 is what 3 into m2 any doubt in writing this objective function for the stage 2 anything you want to re explain so now state variable state variable for the stage 2 can be the zero if you have not allocated any weight any weight any space in stage 1 so uh, all the four turns will be available right and if you have allocated all that all the space then there is no space for the stage 2 in that case state variable value will become the zero if you have not allocated any space then the total weight will be the remaining 
so it will be the four if you have allocated uh, if you have uh, if you have allocated the complete space then the state variable for the stage two will be the zero turn so all the choices we have to write zero one two three four because the remaining space can be the integer only then m1 uh, m2 can be the we have the choice m2 can be the zero m2 can be the one here we write the alternatives in the alternatives what we have to maximize what is the objective function objective function is 47 m2 plus f3 of x2 minus 3 m2 now please check carefully uh, now when m2 is equal to 0 when m2 is equal to 0 47 m2 will become 47 m2 will become the 0 so that is the 0 0 0 0 0 now please uh, listen now carefully if x2 is 0 if x2 is 0 right x2 is 0 m2 is 0 first first row first column if x2 is 0 m2 is 0 so here you put the 0 minus 3 0 right so uh, 3 into 0 so it will become f3 of 0 so f3 of 0 in the previous f3 of 0 will be the 0 right f3 of 0 will be the 0 in the previous table so here we have written the 0 now see if x2 is 1 if x2 is 1 and m2 is 0 m2 is 0 second row first column x uh, x2 is 1 and m3 is 0 m2 is 0 right if x2 is 1 and m2 is 0 so 1 minus 3 into 0 1 minus 3 into 0 that is the um, that is the f3 of 1 f3 of 1 f3 of 1 is nothing it is the 14 maximum return from the stage i plus 1 right maximum return from the stage i plus 1 so that is the 14 so here we have written the 14 when x2 is equal to 2 when x2 is equal to 2 right and m2 is equal to 0 m2 is equal to 0 third row first column third row first column so it will become 2 minus 0 that is the 2 f3 of 2 so f3 of 2 from the previous table it is the 28 right it is 28 maximum return from the third stage so here we write the means current return plus maximum return of the third stage that we are writing here so in this way you can write the return when m2 is equal to 0 m2 is equal to 0 similarly when m2 is equal to 1 so m2 is equal to 1 is applicable only when remaining space remaining space is 3 ton or more more than the 3 ton right when the state variable value is either 3 or more then or greater than or equal to 3 then only you can allocate one item of 3 tons right so that is not possible when remaining weight is 0 you cannot allocate the one item when remaining weight is 1 ton you cannot allocate the one item of 3 ton when remaining weight is 3 ton you cannot allo uh, uh, allocate one item of 3 ton if the remaining weight is 3 ton if remaining weight is 3 ton then only you can allocate one item of 3 ton so it will become the 47 m2 so it will be the 47 into 1 47 into 1 now x3 is equal to uh, now the x2 is equal to 3 and m2 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 3 and m2 is equal to 1 so it will become the 3 minus 3 that is the f3 of 0 so f3 of 0 again we have the this 0 f3 of 0 is the 0 so that's why here we have the 0 then after uh, if the x x2 is equal to 4 and m2 is equal to 1 so when the m2 is equal to 1 47 m2 is equal to 47 right when m2 is equal to 1 so 47 m2 is equal to 47 plus, and x2 is equal to 4 x2 is equal to 4 minus 
थ्री इंटू वन एम टू इजिकल टू वन फोर माइनस थ्री इंटू वन दैट इज दन सो एफ थ्री ऑफ वन एफ थ्री ऑफ वन हियर वी हैव सीन वी इट इज द फोर्टीन सो हियर वी हैव रिटर्न द फोर्टीन सो वट इज द मैक्सिम वैल्यू वेन एक्स टू इजिकल टू जीरो इट इज जीरो वट इज द मैक्सिम वैल्यू वेन एक्स टू इजिकल टू वन इट इज फोर्टीन राइट वट इज द मैक्सिम वैल्यू ऑफ एफ टू वेन एक्स टू इजिकल टू टू इट इज ट्वेंटी एट एंड ऑल दीज यू आर गेटिंग वेन यू आर नॉट एलोकेटिंग एनी आइटम ऑफ टाइप टू नाउ maximum uh, maximum revenue uh, uh, between the 42 and 47 will be the 47 that you are getting from the m2 is equal to 1 and uh, between the 56 and 61 it is a 61 when m2 is equal to 1 so in this way we have this now in the stage 3 in the stage 1 in the stage 1 what are the unit weight unit weight is 1 ton total weight 4 ton it means m1 can be 4 upon 1 that is the 4 uh, uh, no no okay w1 is the 2 ton w ton uh, w1 is 2 ton and capital w is the 4 ton so maximum number of items you can take you can allocate will be the four, uh, greatest integer of 4 upon 2 so it can, it is the 2 so 0 1 2 only 0 1 2 what is the f1 x1 f1 x1 will be the maximum of M two maximum of M one, right? Zero one two of R one R one M one R one M one plus maximum return from the stage two F two X two F two X two. So F two uh, X two is what or X one is what remaining weight for the stage one X two is what remaining weight in the stage two. it means their difference will be the the weight allocated weight assigned in the stage 1 that is equal to the w1 m1 so this will implies x2 is what it is the x1 minus x1 minus w1 m1 so w1 is what it is the 2 so 2 m1 of x1 so here we have written the r1 into m1 plus f2 of x2 And x two can be written as x one minus w one m one, w one m one, and here the m one can take the value zero one two. So in this case, in this case, again in the stage one, in the stage one, always we have the maximum item. No need to write, no need to write this. Uh, just to explain, I am writing here, but no need to write these column, uh, these rows, because. maximum always for the stage one complete vessel is empty complete four ton you can utilize right till now you have because it is a stage one you have not allocated any any space any weight right to any item so complete four ton is available so in the four ton uh, if you are not using any one so m1 is equal to 0 if you are allocating only one item if you are allocating only the two item so how much revenue you are getting so revenue you are getting right current revenue will be the 31 m1 plus maximum return maximum return from the stage 2 f2 x2 or f2 of x1 minus 2 m1 so when m1 is equal to when m1 is equal to 0 so 31 m1 will be the 0 right when m1 is equal to 1 then 31 m1 will become the 31 when m1 is equal to 2 then 31 m2 uh, m1 will become the 62 now when we have when we have the space of the four ton when we have the space of the four ton but you are not allocating so uh, x1 is equal to 4 right and m1 is equal to 0 m1 is equal to 0 so it will become the F two of four, F two of four from the previous is the sixty one. F two of four from the previous will be the sixty one. So that sixty one we have to write here. So that sixty one we are writing here. 
right then when the uh, x x1 is equal to 4 when x1 is equal to 4 but m1 is equal to 1 m1 is equal to 1 means 2 m1 2 m1 means 4 in minus 2 that is the 2 so f2 of 2 f2 of 2 in the previous it is the 28 so that we write here the 28 here we are writing the 28 right then uh, if the x1 is equal to 4 and m2 is equal to 2 2 into 2 that is the 0 so f2 of 0 so f2 of 0 there we have the 0 so here we write the 0 right so total revenue will be the 61 59 62 so maximum of 61 59 62 is the 62 that is a 62 and it is due to the m2 is equal to 2 it is due to m2 is equal to 2 so now you have solved the uh, all the stages means in each stage you have to take care that maximum of the previous stage you have to consider so that at last you will get the optimum solution for complete problem so in the for the stage one for the stage one because it is the first stage so here total weight will be the four ton available so x1 is equal to four right so in the stage one in the stage one x1 is equal to four and for the stage one what is the optimal solution optimal solution is the m1 is equal to two so m1 is equal to two m1 is equal to two it means how much weight you have uh, you have used right so w1 m1 will be the four it means when it is a four so x2 will be the zero because now you have already used the, all the four tons so x2 is equal to zero so when x2 is equal to zero in that case m2 is equal to zero so when m2 is equal to zero right m2 is equal to zero so w2 m2 will be the uh, zero it means here we have the x3 x3 is again zero so for the x3 is equal to zero for the x3 is equal to zero for the x3 is equal to zero m3 is zero m3 is zero so here we write the m3 is equal to zero m3 is equal to zero so uh, means how many items you are taking when x1 is equal to three m when x1 is no this is the another part so when the x1 is equal to yes when the maximum weight is the w is equal to 4 so x1 is equal to 4 so m1 star will be the 2 m1 star will be the 2 it means x2 will be the 0 x2 will be the 0 so when the x2 is equal to 0 m2 star will be the 0 when m2 star is 0 then x3 is equal to 0 so m3 star is equal to 0 it means how many items you are taking m1 is equal to 2 m2 is equal to 0 and m3 is equal to 0 m3 is equal to 0 and total revenue total revenue you will get from here the total revenue you will get the right from here the total revenue you are getting the 62 thousand dollar right 62 thousand dollars so here you will get the 62 thousand dollar so that is the allocation uh, two zero zero two items of type one zero item of type two zero item of type three so that total revenue you will get the 62 by chance sensitivity also you can do in the same table by chance if we have the uh, capital w is equal to three instead of the four if we have the capital w is equal to three then uh, then we have to consider this row that's why i have to, uh, i have written the all the columns so that you can perform the sensitivity also so when w is equal to 3 so when w is equal to 3 at that time at that time maximum return is the 47 right maximum return is the 47 so how you are getting when w is equal to 3 tons it means x3 uh, x1 is equal to 3 x1 is equal to 3 so when the x1 is equal to 3 when x1 is equal to 3 at that time m1 is equal to 0 at that time 
m1 is equal to 0 so you have not you have not taken any item so in the stage 2 all the three turns remain right in the stage 2 all the three turns remain so when uh, when the x2 is equal to uh, 3 at that time m2 star is equal to 1 so in that case m2 is will be the 1 so now you have used the all the space so when you have used the all the space so x3 will be the 0 so when x3 is equal to 0 right when x3 is equal to 0 at that time at that time m3 is also 0 so at that time m3 is 0 m3 is 0 so when the total weight total weight is 3 ton only then the optimum combination is the 0 1 0 and optimum solution you will get the 47 thousand dollar so that is written here so sensitivity also you can do if x1 is equal to 3 right instead of the three turns uh, instead of the four turns, if it is the three turns then x1 is equal to 3 so m1 is equal to 0 then x2 will be the 3 then m2 is equal to 1 then x3 is equal to 0 m3 will be the 0 so optimal combination will be the 0 1 0 and total revenue will be will be the 47 thousand dollar so for today we are stopping here in next class we continue Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, what will be the syllabus for quiz three? And can you confirm the date once? Date is twenty-two only. Okay, sir. What about the syllabus? Uh, syllabus, uh, we can keep CPM part, game, and uh, reliability. Okay, I will notify. Today I will notify. Okay, sir. Thank you.